For our next story, let's talk about white supremacy. It's a belief, it claims that white people are a superior race. It's both alarming and outrageous. A decade ago, it was propagated by groups like the Ku Klux Klan. They castrated people with razors, dislodged the eyes of their victims and derailed trains. Today, such incidents are rare, but white supremacy continues to thrive in the shadows. And in the US, it manifests through gun terror. You may have seen headlines of yet another mass shooting in America. This one was in a mall in Texas. Now it's being linked to white supremacy. And it's not a one-off case. Last year, 80% of such shootings were committed by alleged white supremacists. Here's a report. Schools, workplaces, shopping malls. We pass through these public spaces every day. We expect a basic level of safety associated with them. But if you live in the U.S., Maybe that's too high an expectation, because in that country, these are spaces of terror, under attack by the epidemic of mass shootings. Holy this story shit. is not new. It's a daily affair in America. It has seen more mass shootings than days in 2023. More than 200 shootings in 128 days. The latest one happened in Texas over the weekend, at an outdoor shopping outlet in the city of Allen. A gunman got out of his car and began firing at shooters. Witnesses described scenes of panic and horror. Children hid inside dressing rooms. Shoppers ran to the back, desperately trying to stay out of the shooter's line of fire. Some were shouting, alerting others to run for their lives. It was a rampage. Eventually, it came to an end. A police officer had shot the gunman dead, but that was after he had already killed eight people, including children. I felt really scared because many people were running for their lives and some people didn't survive. Um, some got injured. I'm still feeling scared because it could happen to us at school. It could happen to us at another mall. Our, our heart's broken about it. There's a crisis in America. I think it's a, a political system that would rather blame uh, the other party as opposed to see that we have a major mental health crisis uh, in America. An investigation is underway. Police are trying to uncover the motive of the gunman. And reports say the focus is on the gunman's ideological leanings. The police believe he had white supremacist links. During the attack, he wore a clothing patch with the letters RWDS. This stands for Right Wing Death Squad. It's popular among right wing extremists and white supremacy groups. What is white supremacy? A belief that white people form a superior race. Therefore, they should dominate the society. This belief has been the reason behind numerous deaths, often deaths by torture, because white supremacists believe in exclusion, or worse, the harm of other racial groups. Mass shootings and extremism are linked in America, and the linkages are growing. It's about three times higher than it was a decade ago. And of all the extremism related to mass shootings in America last year, 80% were committed by white supremacists. So was the gunman motivated by a similar ideology? There are no clear answers yet. But what's stopping anyone from taking out a rifle and shooting people on the street? Not the gun laws in the US, and certainly not the authorities. The governor of Texas continues to dig in his heels. He still doesn't want to consider a ban on gun ownership. So while the people of America continue to lose their lives and the gun epidemic destroys and devastates families, their government watches this horror unfold as bystanders and victims of gun violence end up as mere statistics.